Hey, welcome to another exciting one. In this video, you will see the top 10 power projects in Nigeria. Number one is the huge Mambila power plant, the biggest power plant in Nigeria, though this power plant is still largely on paper. Yeah, the Mambila hydro power plant has been scaled down to 1525 megawatts instead of the proposed 3050 megawatts. We are not getting a good deal because of some obstacles surrounding the project. A lot of people have been asking what is happening to the Mambila Power Project. Why hasn't the project taken off? Well, let's look at the events surrounding the Mambila Power Plant and see why we find ourselves in this situation. The idea of the Mambila Hydroelectric Power Project was first conceived in 1972, but it didn't materialize till 2003 when the contract was awarded to Sunrise Power, a company that had zero experience in hydropower construction. Sunrise Power, knowing they didn't have the experience, engaged Sino Hydro to do the job. Sino Hydro would later find out that the Federal Executive Council didn't approve the contract. So they advised Sunrise to place a tender for the project when it is advertised. That advertisement never came until 2017 when the contract was awarded to a consortium of three Chinese firms. Everyone thought, oh, finally, this project will start and will all reap the benefit of a huge hydro power plant. Because power generated by hydro power plants are generally cheaper than their gas counterparts. We need cheap power to grow our economy. The more money people are able to save, the more disposable income they have that they can spend and more money will exchange hands, thereby boosting the economy. Anyway, despite the award of the contract in 2017, the Mambila Power Project hasn't taken off. The reason is because Sunrise Power took the government to the International Court of Arbitration in France. They are claiming breach of contract against the government that they deserve compensation. But the government is claiming that the contract was never approved by FEC in the first place. While the matter isn't completely resolved, with the two parties going back and forth, there is hope that it will be resolved and the project can go on. That hope is born out of the fact that the government have been paying compensation to thousands of people who are being relocated to make way for the project. The government won't be paying compensation if the project will not be executed. So there is hope, but the question still remains when. When will construction works finally begin for the Mambila Power Project? Coming to why they scale down the capacity, like the saying goes that being poor is expensive. The reason is because it is a requirement by the financiers. Sometimes the lenders are overbearing. You are lending someone money and you are trying hard to determine how the project will be done. Just like what is happening with the Ibado Kanu Railway Project, they want the project to be done in their own way, like making the government accept a single track, you know, and all sorts of other conditions. We just need to manage our resources better so that when we want to do a project, we get a contractor and tell him exactly what we want and it will be done in that way. We are not getting a good deal by paying $4 billion for 1,525 megawatts when we could have gotten 3,050 megawatts for $5.8 billion? Or is it as simple as paying the difference of $1.8 billion to double the capacity of the Mambila power plant in the future? Anyway, this is still the top 10 power projects currently going on or recently commissioned in Nigeria. Before we see number 2, remember to click the subscribe button and enable notification. Thanks. Number 2 is the Zungeru power plant.
Number three is the Azura Edo Power Plant. Number four is the AFAM three power plant. Number five is the Kaduna power plant. Number six is the Kashimbila power plant. Number seven is the Gurara two power plant. Number 8 is the Itobe power plant.
Number nine is a solar farm, the Ganjua Solar Project. Actually, Nigeria has a lot of solar power projects. Even some Nigerian universities have their own solar mini grids. You can check out the video by clicking the link. Number 10 is the Omo Okutu power project, which is still not completed since the project was awarded in 2005. We hope you enjoy this top 10 power project video. Make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that when a new video goes live, you'll be notified to watch. Thanks for watching.